Your voice is uh, far away, or it's far? not clear, yes. Okay. Can you hear me now? Is it better? Yes. Okay. It's still far, doctor. What? It's still far. It's still far? Yes. Okay, uh, let me change the setting here of uh, my... And there mic. is a lot of noise. Thank you. Yeah, probably the noise is from the, from the AC. Okay, just wait a Yes, Shabab. How about now? Is it better? Yeah, it's better. Hi, turn off the AC right now, so it should be fine. In a minute, probably. Is it better now? Uh, yes, it's better than previous. Yeah. Okay. I am using a headphone with a mic, so it should be the best, but uh, I am going to work on the setting. Today, I think uh, I had a lot to do, but it seems like there is still the... Uh, Anyway, I will have to go with this. This is the best I can do at the moment. And uh, I promise I will try to fix the sound system, inshallah. So, uh, my next class. Okay, so should we continue, Shabab? Yes. Yes, yes. Okay. Exactly. All right. So, um, uh, let me quickly go to uh, the introduction of this course. So, if you are here, you are supposed to be in section number seven, which is starts from 10 to 10.50, and there is another section, which is section eight, and that starts from 12 to 12.50. Uh, in the blackboard, you will realize that I provided links for both sections. So although you are in section number eight, in section number seven, which should start right now, um, I also provide links for section number eight. The reason for this is not to let everybody flee from one section or apply from one section to another. Rather, it's just for emergency. Because what I'm going to do, as I will explain later, we're going to have to take the attendance. And um, if you keep me busy by jumping from one section to another, uh, you will just cause a lot of problem for me. So for that reason, I am not encouraging you to change your section. Rather, I am putting those links for uh, just emergencies. Uh, we are going to, uh, you know, share everything through the, the platform. And uh, for that, let me quickly share with you the platform uh, screen over here. So this is, uh, can you see it right now? Yes. Okay. So this is our Blackboard account. And uh, what I did last night uh, is to provide the links for the, 
the lecture so you can get to them from here. Also, I ask you to, uh, if you want, uh, you can add the calendar, uh, you know, the class to your calendar. This would make it easier for you to uh, just to click on the link from your calendar, and it will also remind you about the class time. This is for both sections. And then I also uh, put a link, which is now empty, or a folder, where I'm going to upload the lecture. So whenever I have a recorded lecture, I'm going to upload it right there. Okay? Now, uh, just to let you know, through all of this pandemic, we got too much experience, you got too much experience. And in the last term, we had to force ourselves not to share. We were recording the, 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 the lectures as of today, but we stopped sharing them with the student because everybody stopped paying attention. Everybody was not, you know, the student just come in, they log in for the attendance, and then they shut their phone. They probably sometimes sleep. It happened to me with ME201. And you are in E307, so you are supposed to be older than those students. And I hope that you will take the responsibility of your own death. Okay. Uh, we're going to have the homework right here, the term project, and quizzes as well as the lectures. Most importantly, every class, and not today, probably not this week, usually I start doing this after the early, you know, the registration period over. But basically, today, for example, is the 30th of August. This is it. Uh, and what I'm going to do, I'm just going to call name. And you will just say yes if you are um, in the room. That's it. That's how we're going to take that in this. When we take that in this right here, and I save it, automatically it will show up for you. So you can follow up on how many absences do you have anytime you want. Okay, you don't need to ask me for that. Now, uh, let's get back to the document again. So, over here, so this is about the attendance. Uh, and, of course, I, I, I assume by this time you are familiar with the grade center. So, whenever there is anything I want to post in terms of grades, whether it is for homework, quiz, for example, when I tell you in the blackboard that the grade center has been updated, then I assume this is it. Okay, the grade center, you go to it from down, and I don't know, do you see the, 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 the mouse while I'm moving it? Can you see it, Keshava? Yes. yes. Okay, yes, look. so basically, you just have to go to the grade center and then just say full grade center and you will see your grade over here. Of course, this is now showing everybody because I am the instructor, but you will see only your own thing. Uh, we are going to deliver these lectures on Zoom as of today. Uh, we're having some technical issues. Uh, usually what I do is to, uh, of course, this I need to update. Uh, this is my personal room. So this is the one that we are going to use for uh, the office hours. But basically, just to explain to you this, this is very, very important. Uh, in Zoom, there is a way to schedule the lectures like I did with you. And our class was given a room number, an ID. And the other class has another ID. But the personal ID, the one that you can contact me through whenever you have an office if you want to give some help in the office hour is this one okay i hope this is a clear we're going to talk about it more when we discuss the syllabus there is another tool which i would like to explore with you uh, it's a it's a meeting tool which uh, basically i until now i didn't decide about the time slot but uh, what i am going to do through the term uh, I'm going to try to uh, manage this very well. So what is this for? In a, whenever you want to meet me in a time when I am not available. So for example, 
I now set up the office hour to start from 1 to 2, which is after the second class. The reason for this is to either have it before this class, which might be either early or busy. After this class, definitely busy. I assume that everybody in this class is having uh, uh, something from 11 to 12. So uh, I don't want to deceive you, put an office hour that nobody can use. So I will try my best to keep the office hour from one to two. Why do I say I will keep my best? Because I will try my best because I might have meetings with university, committee and staff, those I cannot avoid. If that happens, I may change the office hour. If not, then it will stay from one to two. So what is this for then? This, after a week or two, when I have the senior design project student, my graduate student, all committee meetings, department meetings, filled in my calendar, I will recognize a few spots where I can, you know, dedicate free time for you. So since those free spots are not office hours, and in order for you to organize it and myself, so all that you need to do is to click on this link, which I'm going to make available soon in the Blackboard, and then you pick the date, and then you pick the time. You say, okay, I need to meet you for 15 minutes or 30 minutes or one hour, and you pick the available slot. If you do this, like, I think 30 minutes before the meeting time, I will be ready for you so we can do the meeting. I will try to put this for flexible hours. I don't know, depending, I can't promise, but this is the, the reason behind this tool. So for the lectures, Yeshavan, we are going to use, I'm gonna, I'm using iPad with, with, the, with their pencil and today, honestly, I had some difficulty connecting the iPad to, to Zoom. So basically, Zoom enabled me to cast my iPad right away to Zoom. And I used to do this last time. Today, I couldn't. We don't need to do this. But I promise by uh, next lecture, I will solve the problem. The, the design, the lectures, the way I'm going to deliver it, it will exactly appear as if it is a real lecture. Uh, I have some good, you know, good experience now with the, with explain everything the app, and even when I type in the screen, you will see it appear like a blackboard or a whiteboard. Uh, I have, of course, my own slide which I'm going to share with you. This is a simple uh, slide of the lectures, uh, and I'm going to update them for you, okay? Uh, upload them. Now, I, I, I develop, I am now changing the slide, okay, to, uh, uh, to become suitable for uh, online delivery. So, these one, uh, so what I do, I usually have examples solved, and usually in the classroom, I start talking over the board with a marker. Uh, here, I have removed the solution from selected uh, problems and we have to put it together, just to have the experience, okay? So let me talk now, uh, go to the course syllabus and then stop this, and then we're gonna go to the syllabus. Shabab, you know that the course syllabus is a contract huh, between me as an instructor, between the university as an institution, and you as a student. So this is this is very important. We've been working hard as much as possible to make this syllabus ready. However, it is not in the final form, and there are reasons for this: the the COVID and the whole pandemic. So. The, the description, let me go quickly over it. Uh, this is uh, the catalog description of the course, okay? Of course, by looking at the prerequisite of the course, you will see that we will have a, a CE203. I hope you had an enjoyable experience.
experience could see it or me from my own experience teaching this course for a long time here students not necessarily come to machine design with a good experience in seeing tone three. So I hope this is not the case. And this is an E to A team, of course. The core requisites are an E322 and an E323. Now, uh, what is this course is about? When I tell you that this is a review of stress strain deformation, I think you have to understand why you need CE to R3 is very important. So we're going to talk about failure, material, and I'm going to have a lecture about this soon, uh, today. Um, so I'm, I'm not going to talk about the detail. The textbook is Shigley. Without a doubt, Shigley is the most famous textbook in the world, probably. Uh, I am pretty sure that if you know any relative, any friend who is studying abroad in the state, in Europe, they are teaching with Shigley. So this is truly a very famous textbook for, uh, you know, the course. There are other references which you can refer to. Uh, myself, I am located, of course, in building 63, office number 309. This is my office phone number, 1803. So if you uh, want to approach me, you can easily call me. I am in my office, and I will be always in my office. Of course, except times when I am away because I'm going to the lab or doing the experiment, research, or going for a meeting, if there is a meeting which is physical. Uh, my email is something that you probably have to remember very well because we communicate by email uh, effectively. You know, you send me an email, I reply to you. I would never not reply to you. And I will always try my best to reply to you within the same time or the same day. Okay? I'll do my best. So this is the class schedule, and these are the meeting IDs. If you miss them, and this is the time. Now, attendance is going to be probably a challenge for you and me every time. So I would like to tell you that I'm going to take that in this. I'm going to try my best to be fair, OK? Uh, those who are going to attend every day will come and tell me at the end of the term that I swear I attend all the lectures. But there are students who are saying, yes, they were actually not the person who are you talking about. So they were cheating, and they got full mark in attendance. I missed one class or whatever, and then you detected one from me. I am ready for this argument, Keshavak. I assume it will happen. Uh, the only thing I can rely on is that you are in KPBM, one of the best schools around. You are adult. You are going to be engineer. You are, gonna, you are responsible. And above all, you are Muslims. So you want to cheat, cheat as much as you want. My job is to try as much as possible to be fair. But I have to tell you, I will never be able to be fair. There is always somebody who is going to cheat. Always. So you decide who are you going to be. Uh, however, this doesn't give you the excuse. You say, OK, Rajal Bayer had to talk. Uh, this is not the truth. Whenever I get a chance to quote you, I will show no mercy. Because yes, about yeah, and you do anything. You can send me an email by uh, unknown identity. That's fine with me. I'm okay. evaluation. I am totally fine with that. But I saw you know a student graduating from KFUBM. Very high reputation. Tiji Akbar Sharika. We made you a good person, a good engineer. But you are definitely a cheater. And then you do you do something that destroy the entire kingdom. This is something I'm not gonna allow. Yet one day my kid might become your employee, right? You might, you might be your bo the boss of my kids. And if he doesn't deserve to be in that position, you doubt he doesn't. Cheating is one way 
to disqualify you from holding important job or any job per se. So the Shabab, I'm, I'm not gonna say more, okay? This is enough. More than eight unexcused absences will uh, will be, will, will report you at the end, right now. So be careful. Okay, um, if we did not have any problem with attendance, we will never talk about it again, just to tell you this. So it is not, I'm not here to try to threaten you and scare you. I can't do nothing. I'm sitting in my office, you're sitting in your home, and I just wish that the course will be attractive enough for you to attend. Uh, assignment, homework will be assigned. You will submit them online. Uh, the mode of delivery, are they multiple choices? I, I doubt it. I think you will have to scan and submit. So please, Shabab, if you want it to make this easy on you, on us, try to be a little bit organized. Yeah, yeah, Shabab, go and download an app for scanner. If you have a scanner at home, use it. Don't send me photos. Don't send me photos. We need documents the grader will suffer a lot. Uh, the size of the photos will be huge. You know that there are several apps available to scan documents by phone, which basically turn on the camera and convert the document into a black and white or a scanned image. Sending a photo, other it's about the, by the way, is anybody here uh, doesn't speak uh, Arabic? Anyone here, Shabab? Here doesn't speak Arabic. Everybody speak Arabic. Okay, good. So, Shabab, the famous picture that we always receive during this pandemic is one paper laying down over a keyboard. So, please don't do that. Just have a place now. Actually, in your home now, in your place, you should have a, a place. Maybe you cover it with white paper or something, because you will use it every day. It's like your studio now. Your scanning, your scanning studio. Scan and sit, scan and sit. So you need to get used to it. Okay. This is the office hours. Uh, office hours from one to two, as I said. This is the Zoom meeting time. If you call me on uh, Microsoft Teams. I'm Fine as well. You can find me. There is no meeting ID. Just search my name and you will find me. Uh, if you need to book any other different meeting time, this is the app I told you about. It is not ready right now. If you click it, you will see sometimes where it's not ready. Now let's talk about the very important thing for everyone. Uh, the grade system. Okay, so we will have the homework in percent. The due dates are shown down. I will show them to you. Homework is in orange over here. In yellow, we'll have a quizzes. 25% for quizzes. We'll have seven quizzes. All of them in class. We'll have a, 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 a design project out of 15%. Concentrate at home. You have a midterm 25%. And you have a final exam 25%. This grading distribution, Shabbat, we decided with the coordinator of the course to make it this way from the beginning because we want you to know from the beginning that us, just the machine designers factor, believe that you are not coming back this time. You get it. Now, there are people who say, no, maybe after seven weeks, you will come back. If you came back after seven weeks, we will adjust this. But we think it is, yes, the, Vaccine will come soon, we know that. But when it's going to be delivered, and when are you going to get vaccinated? It's very simple, it's about um, 30 million people in Saudi Arabia means 30 million seconds. And for, no, actually, you need at least five to 10 seconds to get vaccinated. And if you go and count how much is that distributed over the, uh, uh, you know, working hours and it will be very much. So, uh, the quality, I believe the quality is uh, I'm sorry, Shabab. I have a Beats headphone 
costing me nearly 500. So uh, I, 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 I can't get a better one. It's, it's maybe, Yeshala, maybe. Uh, oh no. Is it is it the internet connection, Yeshaba? Maybe because some of you is saying that it is clear. Some of the some of you are saying no. Uh, doctor, I guess the headphones might have you might have be using the background noise. So okay, that's why the background noise is higher than your voice. The background uh, is the problem. There is a noise like a sound or something. Yes, I turned it off. No, Doctor, it's not the problem. It's the problem that the background noise is a lot of sound. It's a lot of sound like a bit. Yeah, I can hear you. Yeah, I How about now? <laughs> okay, there was something in, in Zoom. I have to change. I'm very sorry, Shabam. Okay. All right. So, uh, yes. So, what I was saying, uh, I don't want to be pessimistic. يعني متشائمين إحنا المشين ديزاينرز مع إنه صراحة إحنا we are built and this is what we are gonna do. We are built to be. Uh, شوية متشائمين الديزاين مبني على مبدأ إنه you always look at failure so I am not saying that this is what I'm trying to uh, imply but we don't think that seven weeks will be enough to end everything عشان كذا يعني خلوها تكون واضحة يا شباب إنه this arrangement إنتوا الآن مرتاحين if you did not come back to the campus okay this is what's gonna happen now, even the seven quizzes, it's a lot. I hate the course that makes student busy. You shouldn't, you have other courses, but we have no choice. If we, if we, uh, if we do not distribute the weight of the 100 over the different elements of the course, you will suffer. So to be fair with you, Look what I did. Um, today is our first lecture. So this is for lecture number one. Okay. And then two, three, four. So look, lecture number five will have a quiz number one. Lecture number four, homework one is going to be assigned. And then we will have, look, the blue, which is the project. Project will be assigned in, in, in lecture number seven. And when it is assigned, it means you can start working on it. Then we'll give you a, uh, a gap, and then you will have a quiz number two. This is homework one do, and homework number two is assigned. Then um, we'll have a gap, then homework two and three, and then we will have a quiz number three. So if you actually, let me show you something uh, very quickly. Uh, if you want, I. If you want, I can share this with you um, uh, on the on Blackboard. So what you see here, Juan, is the is the course what I call it the course mapping. So just to tell you, how are we trying to? Uh, yeah, myself, I'm trying to be a little bit fair with you. Um, this is week number one. Then week number two, on Tuesday, we have a quiz. Then we have a week, three, and then a quiz. And here, hopefully you will have some fun. It's the celebration of the national day. Then you come back and another free week, and then we have a quiz. And then another free week, and then we have the midterm. Then a free week and then a quiz. And then a free week, and then a quiz. A free week, and then a quiz. A free week, and then a quiz. This is the last day of classes. I wish I can do 10 quizzes. 
But if I do 10, then you can imagine where I am going to put them. Like two in two quizzes in a row? Doesn't make sense. So I hope, ya shabab, that you appreciate the problem here. And I hope you understand that it will be very difficult to reschedule. So I, I wish truly that this is going to work. Do you understand me? Now let's go to some important rules. First thing, you will have to make sure that you have a, a good stable internet connection, okay? Uh, inshallah, by next class, all of our connection problem, now we got rid of the mic. Inshallah, next class, I will be able to connect with, uh, you know, the iPad and have my app, everything, explain everything, working fine. We will be just going smoothly. Lectures will be recorded, uploaded. Everything is ready. You know how to uh, solve homework, take a picture, make it good, submit it. Now, we are going to communicate regularly through the Blackboard. Anything that miss you, uh, that you miss on the Blackboard is your, is your responsibility, not mine. I assume that you will check the Blackboard every day, many, many times. Now, reporting to the class, no longer than five to 10 minutes maximum. I will try to make sure that I don't take the attendance in the beginning. I will try to take it five to 10 minutes, maximum 10 minutes. After that, you are considered either late or absent. Quizzes, we will give seven quizzes. As I said, one of them will be omitted. So I'm going to calculate the best six out of seven. The regulation is that no, no makeup quizzes will be given under any circumstances, even medical. This is the regulation, not mine. Okay, of the course. This is a coordinated course. And it's very important to know that when it is coordinated, I can do a lot because I will have to ask everyone else to obey my regulation if I change them, which I cannot. Now, during the quizzes, Ya Shabab, and the midterm, which is going to be online, you will be asked to turn on a webcam. You got my point? So we are going to ask you to join the meeting by Zoom and then enter your exam through the blackboard while you are turning on the webcam. So please, uh, uh, my assumption is that you are somewhere with a laptop that has a built-in camera with it. And if not, you can manage to have a webcam connected to your computer. This means you can't use tablet or whatever. I am not going to mandate something in particular, but you should know this, okay? Mobile phones, you are not allowed to use your mobile phone during the quizzes and exam, and it is violation. If we, for any reason or by any way, found that you use your phone, then this is considered a violation and it will be reported to the university administration. Now. I am going to tell you one thing about this. The university, just listen to me carefully, Shabam. This is the most important information that you want to hear today. The university has instructed us, the instructors, to uh, coordinate the course partially. So what does that mean? Listen carefully. We are going to have the same homework. We are going to have the same design project for all sections. However, quizzes are not coordinated. This is not in you. What is in you is that midterm, if it is online, it's not going to be coordinated. We will have the midterm exam with all sections together at the same time. All of them, Dr. Nasser Marah, Dr. Mudathar Zahur, and Dr. Uthman Ali. All of them will have the exam at the same time. But my questions for the midterms are mine. 
you go talk to somebody on another section by WhatsApp, whatever, it's not going to help out. Do you get me? It's a very simple rule. The exam are not coordinated. This is the first time for a coordinated course this happens. And the only reason for this is to minimize the interaction as much as possible between students. So interaction, ya shabab, is a polite way of cheating. <laughs> it's, a, it's a polite way, okay? So um, I am going to give you a midterm myself which is different than Dr. Nasser and different than Dr. Uthman and different than Dr. Mudaffer. Okay, Shabam, this is very important. Uh, I hope this is now uh, good. Let me come go back to... Uh, uh, Dr. I have a question. Uh, regarding to the, to the syllabus, uh, can you share it, please? Okay, sure. Yes. Uh, can you scroll down uh, to the schedule of quizzes and homeworks? Okay. So for, uh, let's say for quiz one, uh, are you going to define like the materials for quiz one or what's it going to be? Yes. Usually, um, يعني مثلا, by Thursday, I should mm -hmm. tell you that next Tuesday, this is going to be Tuesday. Uh, the quiz will cover this material and that material. Okay. Yeah. Uh, is is, is it the same material complex. as the homework? We are. Or... We are going to. I I I don't want to talk about it out, you know, and then change my mind. But mm -hmm. in general, ya yeah, shabab, in general, we like to have you spend a good time trying to understand the homework. Uh, but I don't want to say it, and then it doesn't work. يعني مثلاً هنا لو قلت لكم إنه الكويز هو نفسه uh, الهومورك. How is that gonna help you out? You will know the problems, of course. I am not gonna give you the exact problem with the exact number. I will change the number, for for example. And yes, I would like to give the quizzes somehow related to the homework in order for you to study the homework very well, not just copy them or don't spend good time with them. However, this doesn't apply all the time. If I give you a quiz for homework number one, but you don't have the solution, what does that mean? How is this going to help you out? طبعاً الهومورك يا شباب, usually in machine design, we give it to, um, uh, we give it to, uh, to the student in a way that there are problems which are uh, from the textbook and we know that the solution manual might be floating around which is definitely 100% uh, I'm sure it is but we bring problems from previous exams previous quizzes so we think that these problem will challenge the student because they don't have a direct way to get their solution but basically, this is what we are talking about. Uh, we're having around 10 minutes left, so let me go over this. So last 10 minutes, um, uh, I would like to tell you why do you have to study machine design, okay? Uh, we all know, you, I don't think you've been kids since 2015, when the tragic accident of Maka Crane happened. Uh, uh, it, it 11, uh, 111 people died and 394 injured, okay? Um, this is Space Shuttle Challenger disaster. It happened in 1986. You were not born yet then. And it, it killed seven astronauts and the space station or the space shuttle, which cost between two to four billion dollars, was lost. Um, then 
later in 2003, it took a long time for NASA, Shabab, to have another disaster. They improved their design significantly. But in 2003, something else happened. And yet, they lost another seven astronauts and four billion dollars for the spacecraft. Um, in, in 1988, again, this is a time when you were not born. I am pretty sure you don't want to, you know, you don't wish to be part of this airplane, right? This trip. Those are real passengers. And by the way, they survived. But the, the Aloha for Hawaiian Airline 243 is so famous because what happened? This is called the fuselage. The fuselage part of it just to broke up in the air. Imagine that. And it was, it was very nice that the whole mechanism for steering the wings and was mostly mechanical and the electrical one were not on the top part. Otherwise, the whole airplane would fall down. There was only one death. It was so tragic, Keshabab. People believe that it was the flight attendant they are sure that it's the flight attendant, but what they believe is that the instant when a crack open up in the fuselage, the, the difference between the pressure, you know, when you are in an airplane cruising at 30,000 30, feet above, a, above the sea level, the pressure is too low. So you are actually, when, while you are in the airplane, you are actually living in a compressed tube. So they believe that there was a crack and then due to the pressure difference, the, the, the flight attendant was pushed up above the, the, what she was sucked up by the crack. And when she, when her body closed the crack, the, that was a reason why there was a, a wave a pulse of a pressure change. So all of a sudden the pressure change and then you close it, that caused a little shock. That shock caused a further collapse. Uh, people even think that the poor flight attendant was juiced out from the airplane. She was the only casualty. And uh, I am not gonna talk about uh, uh, how things happen. I will just highlight them. So if I go back, we know that the, the tragic uh, crane collapse was due to some wind, right? If it was due to, to some wind. And yes, while the problem is operational, uh, probably the operator, probably the person in charge should not have allowed the crane to operate at that severe condition. But in the end of the day, the, the, the failure of the crane is a failure, and a crane is a mechanical device. When you machine, when you design this machine, you put into account all aspects. Not to let this fail, not to let this machine cause death and distraction. Uh, this one was totally different. This was uh, a primary failure of mechanical design, like the one we are teaching you, because it's very simple. There was a ceiling, we call it the O-ring, which is an oil ring, like an oil ring. And the day of the uh, um, takeoff, the, the, room the, 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 the weather was too cold. It was, I think, minus four degrees. It wasn't too cold. In North America, it can go to minus 30. But that day was minus four. And people believe, or engineers after investigation, believe that this ring, Yashabab, was operating under its, you know, all, you know, outside its operating range. So it's a rubber material at minus four. It changes its behavior from ductile to brittle. You know this. And this makes it easier to crack. This makes the crack easier to propagate and then fail. So what happened? 
when this leak the whole tank which has the liquid fuel which is very explosive and it has a huge amount of fuel because the space shuttle need to burn millions of gallons of fuel to escape earth gravity so when the fuel leaked it exploded um, this one was totally different this this space shuttle ya shabab it went to the international space station the astronaut lived there above us for like two weeks when they came back the problem happened and the reason is because of this little there was i i don't know if it is a pier here but there was a foam to protect those part of the of the shuttle one of the foam cracked and fell down the cracking and the it didn't cause a problem but the problem was that it hit the wing of the space shuttle this one this one and when it hit the wing it opened it up so when they returned back you know that the space shuttle go through the earth atmosphere causing uh, friction to heat up the surface of the shuttle and what was the end uh the 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 wing was destroyed and it exploded in air very simple uh the aloha what was the reason it was a simple it was a you know cracking cracking because of stress concentration <clears throat> that's it you need to have rivets those rivets are the mean or the the way to join part an airplane together and in order to put rivet, you have to put hole. So holes are very problematic, but you cannot avoid them. You can't just tell me I'm gonna make an airplane without holes. You need to put holes. So you need to live with them. So it was a stress concentration problem. Now, <clears throat> what you should know is that design process need multidisciplinary team. This course is going to make you an active in that team an active member in that team because a, a stress designer like you this is what the course is going to make you is very important if you make a fancy design but it fails people will die god forbid this course teaches you how to perform stress analysis this is a fundamental step in design of machine of course, this course will be important for ME308, for 11, for 14, for 12, for 16, 489, 487, 475, and so on. So the, the course can teach you basically how to understand the stresses, those red part in the machine that causes a crack and then a problem. So unfortunately, Tabani Shabab, we are not gonna be able to teach you how to do this, like this color. We're gonna try as much as possible, maybe to give you some illustration and examples, maybe in the project a little bit. But uh, uh, basically, you will understand how these software work. How do they get those color? How do they know that the stress here is too high and it's gonna cause failure? So it is very important in the field airplane like what we saw turbines generate energy shaft that hold big blades that rotate and create power or vehicle like cars and, and automotive just to give you an example we are gonna study a very important part one lecture about pressure vessels and how to design them and make them safe and if you look, this is Sabic, this is Aramco. All of our industry is full of those pressure vessels. So this is an example about how this course can benefit you, inshallah, in the future. Uh, this is the end of the lecture, Ya Shabab. I wish that I answered all of your questions. I am very sorry about the glitches about the sound. Uh, I'm going to record the other class uh, lecture. It will be almost the same if you feel that you want to hear it again because you didn't hear me well in the beginning, I'm, I'm going to share it on the drive, inshallah. Thank you so much, Shabab. See you next class. Yeah,
يعطيك العافيه دكتور دكتور يس هاو يو تيك ذا اتندنس نوت توداي اوكي ثانك اوكي باي